Hey everybody, welcome back to another new video in our Quick Tip series. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to make use of the search feature inside of Wardrobe. Uh, this is something that's actually been around for quite a while, but it's moved its location and it's updated the feature set a little bit. And we do still get questions about it from time to time, even though this change has been around since I think late 2020. But we still get questions about it, especially from those who are used to the old way. So let's dive in and take a look at what this can do. All right, so what we're talking about is the search box in the upper right hand corner. And if you may recall, in the past, like I said, I think it was this changed in late 2020. There used to be above your tag list a set of buttons that would let you choose today, yesterday, this month, etc., for filtering through um, the items that you've uploaded. All of that has moved now, and it's available in this search items box. Now. Uh, you can do a really simple search. If I want to find everything from Blueberry, I can come up here and I can type in Blueberry, hit enter, and it's going to give me back a listing of all things that match the term Blueberry. And I can click this little gray X that appears in the box here to clear that search out if I don't want it anymore. That functionality has been there for a long time. What is new is this little clock here at the far right end of this box. And if I click on this, it's going to give me this big date selector and this is really fun. So I can come in here and I can click say for example today and it's not going to show anything because I've been busy making videos and haven't uploaded anything today. But this is a great way to quickly see the things that you have added today. Likewise you could choose yesterday, last two days, last seven days. If I click that it'll show you all the things that I've entered in in the last seven days. Again click the X to clear it. You can also come in here and choose a custom set of days. So if yesterday, today, this month, last month, none of those really work for you, maybe you know you uploaded something uh, the weekend of February 9th, so maybe I our 19th. Maybe I want to go ahead and look from the 19th Friday to the 22nd Monday of February. So I click 19, I click 22, and there you go. And it always tells you right here what it's displaying. So in this case, it's displaying 11 of my 9,802 items added between the 19th and the 22nd of February 2021. Another nice thing you can do, maybe you get a whole bunch of stuff you're looking at a whole month, you can still come up here to the search box and append something else to it. Maybe I only want to find things that have the word pink in them, so I'll add pink to that. And in this case, it's shrunk down and I see just these two things. So it's, um, it's a great feature, right? Um, it's really been there for quite a while, but it's been enhanced uh, and moved in this positioning. Uh, but that's really it. That's how you work with the search in, um, in Wardrobe. And that's where the today has gone to if you've been wondering where it went to. Uh, quick video, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, do please try and like and subscribe the video. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm going to be trying to make uh, an entirely new series of videos here. Uh, so let me know which ones work. And uh, don't forget to comment uh, if you have any questions. And I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.